Why is early child development important? The overarching answer is because it is a determining influence on subsequent life chances and health. But why is that? The principal reason is to be found in the fact that in the early years of life, there are a wide range of very key milestones or sensitive periods in brain and biological development. As I'm speaking, this slide is scrolling out, showing some of the early elements of brain development that occur before children reach school age, which is in the dark gray portion of the slide, showing that by the time kids reach school age, a huge amount has taken place in terms of their opportunities to develop basic competencies that will code for success in later years. For instance, their visual systems are connecting to the deep structures in the brain that uh, are associated with emotional control. That means that children who have a consistent set of human faces that they see early on in life, going through a wide range of emotions, uh, develop the neurobiological ability to decode emotion and to develop a sense of belonging. Those children who are neglected or grow up in environments which are, are violent or, or emotionally barren uh, develop a completely different style of uh, coping early on in life and a different set of biological connections which do not work so well adaptively later on. Similarly, in the early years, children's ability to understand language and to express themselves in language goes up as a straight dose response with the richness and the responsiveness of the language environment that they grow up in. So that by the time children reach school age, those that have grown up in rich and responsive language environments are ready to understand the instructions that come from the teacher, ready to respond and describe their experience and learn. Whereas children that have grown up in environments where there's been very little language have huge difficulties decoding sentences of 10, 15, 20 words of length, of understanding what it means to respond to a question, of understanding what it means to give their experience or give their ideas as though they were some sort of expert. Similarly, children early on in life who start off being physically aggressive in situations of social conflict, if by the time they reach school age they've not had the socializing experiences to uh, reduce and eliminate and transform these physically aggressive responses into verbal communication skills, those children are at a high risk of going on to labeling and grade failure as time goes on. So in all dimensions, physical, social, emotional, language and cognitive development, the early years are crucial for health, well-being, learning and behavior thereafter. This sh slide shows that the idea that early life has an influence across the rest of the life course is not just rhetoric. We know from studies following children from the time of birth onward that um, by the second decade of life, early experiences and early development are influencing school failure, teen pregnancy, and the risk of early criminality. By the th third and fourth decade of life, they are influencing the risk of obesity, elevated blood pressure, and mental health problems such as depression. By the fifth and sixth decades of life, they're influencing chronic uh, uh, coronary heart disease, diabetes, and other chronic diseases. And by old age, uh, influencing premature aging and memory loss. So it is true that the early years influence health, well-being, learning, and behavior across the entire life course.